The second exercise in the push-pull circuit is a ground-based incline. First thing we need to do is make sure the athlete has a f correct foot positioning. For this exercise, we'll have them put their at feet slightly wider than sh uh, hip width apart. The toes will be positioned in a line with the base of the machine. They'll take the right hand and place it on the right handle. Go ahead and push that up. Reach and grab the left handle. Pull down and then sink their hips, knees, ankles, everything back into athletic position. Eyes are up, looking straight ahead. Chest is up. Hips are back. Got a good flat back, slightly arched. Good angle at the knee and ankle. Now again, we're working on rotational force. So you're going to start by generating force through the right leg, through the right hand handle and pulling back with the left hand. So slowly, he will push through the right leg, pull into this position, and then back to the starting position. So what we're working on is teaching the core how to handle these forces, these rotational forces that you're creating as you push through the ground and back to the starting position. So explosively, go! 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 And what you're looking for is not a lot of body movement. You want the head and the chest and the core to stay in the right position and not move. You don't want the hips moving up. You want them staying in this athletic position the whole time while they're doing the exercise. And that's the ground-based incline.